I'm going to be doing some uh, distance testing today. I made this amp for the pager. You can add it to the back. I want to see the difference between that and the plain old Oligo pager with this flip up antenna. This coil is what used to be inside this one. Instead, I put a uh, amp on it and battery and this rubber ducky antenna. So I'm going to check from a bunch of devices I have at my home how do these two compare as far as connectivity. I'm also going to be check testing the distance between two amped TDEX and also distance between amp TDEC and all my home devices and then a plain old TDEC. This one has a thermal camera. I'll be testing quite a few that I'll have at home. So I've got my, my main base station which is a big 20 watt amp. I've also got these. This is a new design I made that uses less current and this one has a little feature where if there's other devices nearby it will start flashing green instead of red. does not have any kind of an amplifier on it. I also made an amplified version of that. I'm going to string all these devices up on a tree and I will drive around and see from the ground level what kind of distance I get. I have hung all these devices I'm leaving at home uh, from this tripod which I'm going to hang from that tree. So I'm about four miles away. Uh, I'm gonna see if I've, all the devices have signals to what. Here's the uh, plain old pager. It's connected to the base. It's connected to the secondary base, which is that proximity one. Uh, it's connected to the amped link. The signal is not super great. And uh, the amped T-deck. This is the plain unamped T-deck. It's got a connection to the amped T-Deck that's at home. Both base stations, but not that great for some reason. There are metal buildings back there. This may not be the best spot. So here's the amped T-Deck. It's got pretty good connections. It's got really good connections to the base stations. Pretty good connection to the other amped T-Deck and to the link there too that's hanging in the tree. So this has really good connectivity. And I will go ahead and send a test message to the other T-Deck. And I would expect that it's just gonna get a pretty quick confirmation. Yep, there it went, already done. Good connection to the base station. I'm gonna let it get another ping because it was having to go through the door there for a second. Yeah, it's definitely got pretty good connections. I don't see uh, the other T deck yet, but I bet it will show up in here. I'm gonna move on a little farther see what I get. It's uh, raining quite a bit now. I'm uh, closer to six miles now. This is the amped pager. It definitely has a uh, good connection to the second base station. It's got a connection to the main base station to the amped link that's hanging in the tree. I would imagine if I wait here it's going to get a ping from the uh, second amped TDAC. So there it is. I just picked up the uh, amped TDAC. It's got connections to all the uh, base stations which I would expect. There's the amped link. Okay, that's pretty good. I can see it's got a connection to the second amped T-Deck that's back in my house. So I'm going to go ahead and try to send a message. Okay. You can see the screen's getting wet there. Hey, there it goes. Instant confirmation too. So the T deck to T deck uh, worked at roughly six miles there with no trouble. The amped T deck to amped T deck, that is.
the regular T deck, one with the thermal cam, it has connections to both of the base stations. I don't know if you can see over there, but it's raining uh, kind of hard between here and and the house, so I don't think that's helping. Let's see if it can uh, reach one of the base stations for the heck of it. Yep, there we go. Instant confirmation. So that was good. All right, let's look at the pager. The unamped pager sees the two base stations. Don't see the uh, amped T deck. Okay, I'm going to move uh, quite a bit farther and, and see what I can get. Yeah, so this pager, amped pager, is getting pings. I'll uh, pull up the GPS here and show. So here's my uh, current position, 19,000 meters. I'm going to check a couple of other devices. I don't think the unamped ones will have a signal here, but I'll see. But you can see the, uh, the amped T-Deck does have a signal as well. I would be surprised if uh, Send works. Well, yeah, it sent. Nice. Okay. It got there. All the packets did. It's wait. There's a confirmation. Well, wow. I'm going to double check what it thinks the distance is. Should be about 19,000 meters. Yeah. I didn't really expect the message to send that far. Now that that was going to the base station. I can't see the uh, anything but the base station from here, which is on my roof the antenna so I'll try a couple of other devices here so I'm just starting up the uh, unamped T-Deck I'll give it about a minute or two wow I am uh, surprised it is getting a ping let's see if I can send a message with this one I really don't don't expect this one's only doing about 0.2 watts so I'm gonna send it right now I really don't expect this to work at 12 miles yeah so that one did not make it um let's try the uh, unamped pager i will be surprised if this one gets a signal uh what oh there what is that yeah there it is <laughs> okay well let's see if uh if i can send a message from this thing okay so i'm about to send this Go. Nope. Okay. Yeah, it just doesn't have the power to, to make go that far. And I just realized I did not try sending at this distance with the uh, amped pager. So I'm going to give that a try. Alright, now it is ready to fire off. There it goes. Mm -hmm. This should do as well as the uh, T deck, I think. That was my expectation. So. Oh, there it went. Oh, you got back the uh, confirmation. So this uh, went 12 miles to the base station.